the Wellness Center at Roche Diagnostics, where this piece of technology tells employees definitively within 20 minutes whether or not they have the flu. The next step, raising awareness about the desperate need for more accurate diagnosis. People just should be aware that the current in-office testing isn't as accurate as you probably want it to be or think it is, and there's a chance of false negatives. The traditional testing used in most doctor's offices has a sensitivity ranging from 50 to 70 percent. That means about half of flu patients tested could come up negative. If people are diagnosed as negative and they um, leave thinking they don't have flu, but they actually do, then obviously they might go back to work or school and spread the infection to others. That's where the cobos liat system comes in. New DNA-based testing once available only in labs. We're bringing molecular-based testing specifically to a doctor's office. This small, easy to use analyzer gives accurate results in 20 minutes or less, letting doctors make more reliable treatment decisions before the patient walks out of the office. Employees aren't gonna be coming back to work or maybe going home and not knowing what that diagnosis is and then spreading the flu. I volunteer for a demonstration. Okay, so we're gonna go on this left side. Okay. okay. So here we go. It doesn't hurt, but it does burn a little. Makes your eyes water. Rhonda takes the swab, adding it to this tube. She then takes some liquid from the sample and puts it in a test tube. And we would slip this into the liat. Placing it inside the analyzer to be processed. About 20 minutes later. We hit report and it lets us know, uh, you know, if flu A or flu B is detected. Roche Diagnostics says the tool is so new, you likely will not find it in your doctor's office right now, but raising awareness could change that. The number one thing would be for um, for patients out there just to, you know, talk to their physicians, talk to their doctors about different technology that's available. In Indianapolis, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.